This video is sponsored by Lens Island. Check out Lens Island on Steam right now and experience the Uncharted Waters update for 40% off during the Steam Winter Sale, running from December 22nd until January 5th. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Lens Island. This is a creative survival farming dungeon crawling exploration focused survival game that i am very excited to be checking out now this has been available on steam for a little while and the fact that it's flown under my radar this entire time really annoys me so i've got some catching up to do and that's exactly what i'm gonna do so we're gonna start a new game is what we're gonna do I did start one up as a bit of a test. We're going to ignore that. I didn't really play it. I just sort of tested a couple of things. So we're going to delete it and we're going to be calling the world Nerdia because all of my names, all the names of my cities, of my colonies, and even the world in Lens Island is going to be called Nerdia. We only have standard mode right now, which is perfectly fine. And so now we need to customize our character. But first, we need to decide how we're controlling Len. Now, the developer recommends using a mouse similar to i guess like a moba where you'll right click to move around it's interesting and we'll do that because it's recommended but i'm probably going to swap to wasd because i find it a bit easier but we'll use mouse controls for now now where is len from we have jaro islands zengard city acacia plains and garth hinterlands if you click on each of these it sort of changes len's appearance and i'm from northern ireland so I feel like being pale and ginger is, <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm quite pale, but I'm, I'm sort of a redhead. Uh, Len's facial type, honestly, let's, let's go feminine because we can. Len definitely doesn't wear shoes. And then we can customize just a little bit here. We'll keep the, uh, the hair tied back. We'll go for a redhead. And in terms of the outfit, I mean, I think the t-shirt's fine. I think the, uh, ooh, hold on a minute. Actually, we could change it up. I do like the tactical turtleneck, I'm going to be honest. And I kind of like the idea of, um, yeah, I like, I like the, the pants rolled up a little bit. That's something I do with like all of my jeans. One, because I'm a little shorter than I care to admit. And two, because I, I just like it. I wear boots a lot. So I have like the jeans rolled up a little bit and then I wear really colorful socks because I'm, I'm describing a hipster is what I'm describing and I'm not happy about it. So we're going to move swiftly on. Uh, I'm going to go for the tan pants. And I think the shirt could maybe be, well, no, it can't be any other color. We could do that. I do like the blue and the tan. I think that's quite nice. So maybe, you know what? Let's go for the blue and the tan is what we'll do. We've got rolled up. Uh, we've rolled up our jeans. We've rolled up our sleeves. We're ready for adventure. All right, let's do this. Your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the Lightstone Rush began, hoping to build a new life. Let's begin. Let's get started. We've got trees. We've got a box. Oh, man. I'm actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited. So I talked about the controls. I'm holding right click and basically your character follows your mouse. This is cool. I, I know it's developer recommended and I know this is a sponsored video, so it's kind of awkward, but I'm going to change that because I really, I really like WASD. I've got to be honest. I just, I just like WASD. It's, it's so much easier for me. Uh, the game does just by the way, have a screenshot mode and, uh, I like this. This, this for me is huge. Not enough games have screenshot modes. And it's huge because I got to take screenshots for like YouTube thumbnails. So I can do this. I can turn on color grading. I can have ambient occlusion. I can have a vignette. It's just really, really good. And I really appreciate that it has a screenshot mode. That's going to be so useful later on when I'm done with this video. Anyway, we have a couple of things we have to do. You can see it in the top right. We're getting started. We got to construct a house, place a bed, build a workbench, explore the map and visit the mayor. So the first thing we'll do is press M to open up the map and we are therefore exploring it. So we've got a cave down here. Seems kind of interesting. We can put some markers on it, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Got an island over there. We get something around here. Not really too sure what that is, but uh, we have some walls here. Is that 
That's some kind of weird looking building. We're going to have to go explore that in a second, but I want to see what's in this, uh, what's in this chest. So managing your hotbar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar to equip them or drag an item off your hotbar so you unequip it. Any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chests for storage. All of your resources are access ugh, accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. And you can equip food items by dragging them directly from your backpack to your hotbar. Okay. So we have a utility box right here. That's pretty cool. But uh, let's open the inventory and see what we can do. So we have no resources right now. We can get some wood, we can get some stone, we can get some fibers, some limestone. We've got some seeds, we've got food and farming, we've got cooking and potions, we've got fishing. And then up at the top here, we have building. So we can build things. We can do wood building, for example. We can build machinery and storage. So we can build a workbench, which we do need to do. We can build a bed, which we do need to do. We also have farming, which I've got nothing for right now. And we have decorations, which is going to have... A dining chair, it's got small drawers, we've got wooden light posts. Long story short, we have a lot of things that we need to do. So let's start by, I guess, collecting some resources. So if I press 2, I've got my axe, and I can go over to this tree and start just beating it. So, you can deal more damage by timing your hits instead of holding down the auto hits. The next time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. Deal bonus damage for landing critical hits. So there was a little circle there. So if I hit this tree and then click when that circle is expanding, I can do a crit, which does more damage and chops the tree down faster. I like that. That's kind of cool. That's that I actually really enjoy. I'm really bad at it, but that's OK because I chopped it down anyway. So let's go and grab all of these logs. We've got 31 logs now. So if I look in my inventory, I can build foundation steps, which is pretty cool. What do I need for a wooden foundation, though? So I need some stones. OK, well, there's a rock right here, and I guess this is a makeshift pickaxe. So if I hit the rock, oh, that's not that's I don't know if that's a rock I can mine. All right. All right. Are there rocks? Can I mine this one? Is that? Oh, I think I can. I absolutely can. All right. Do I get crit hits on this? Oh, I do. OK. So I have to be kind of quick on it. This one's definitely different than the uh, than the other one. But there we go. And that gives me, I don't know what that gave me. What did that give me? Let's have a little look at my resources. I got clay. Okay, well, that's not really, that's not really what we're looking for. So can I, <laughs> can I get some rocks somewhere else? I don't know if I can take these ones out. Maybe I have to go exploring a little bit. Oh, there we go. So if I just hit you and just knock it senseless, I'm hopefully gonna get some uh, some rocks from this if i could get the crits that would be amazing it's i'm really oh man learning this crit system is gonna be really difficult but i'm i'm determined at this point so we got some stone we got some rocks i can now build a wooden foundation i can just build just about everything that i wanted so what i think i'm gonna do is find myself a nice little location and build myself a house now i will say i've been running around here a little bit and this kind of looks like the border of a town I'm not 100% sure if it is, but I mean, it's got some street lights. It's got some really cool looking buildings. I'm pretty sure this is a town. I'm pretty sure I've just walked into. So I'm pretty sure I'm trespassing. I think there's there's a solid chance I'm committing a misdemeanor, if not a felony. But this is really cool. I actually really like the lighting as well. Oh, man, this 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 is going to be another one of those games that goes really hard on the lighting, isn't it? Like uh, what was it I played recently that did that? I say recently it was Software Inc. and it was a few months ago, but I love when games look like this. They have that sort of low poly vibe and then they throw this amazing lighting engine on it. And oh man, it's one of my favorite things. Now, we've just got a little pop up at the top of the screen. You might have seen it. It said Bridgewater, which means we're in the town of Bridgewater. And if you've been watching some of my stuff on the channel recently, you might have spotted an ad or two for Lens Island. And you might know that we have to rebuild Bridgewater. At least that's what I've been told. So... We've got things that these people might want us to do. They've got a tailor. Oh my God. Can I buy clothes? Are you kidding me? Can I, can I talk to you? Hello. Oh God. I'm going to have to voice all these characters. Oh no. <laughs> this is, this is going to be one of those games. Oh man. All right. All right. What is, what's this guy's? <laughs> you know what? We're going to stick with where, where I went with that. Hello. What a beautiful day it is. Is that it? 
No. Wait, no, is this what I- Oh, <gasps> can I buy- wait. Oh. Wait, there's locked colors! Oh! So I can customize, but I can also unlock other colors. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I didn't- I didn't know that. I also don't want to be- don't want to be bold. I'd like my blue shirt back. We'll go with this. I'm gonna leave because I really don't need to focus on that right now. Okay, here's the deal. Here's what we're gonna do. I do want to check out the town, but I want to build something first. So, let's see. Building your first home. Drag any item from your build menu to place it. To edit your builds, enter edit mode with F. Make building easier using camera controls and level switching. Upgrade and change your builds with various styles. Okay. Oh, this gives me Oh my god, it gives me full camera control when I'm doing this. That's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much control. It's good. It's I'm not complaining at all. Uh, it's just, oh man, that's really cool. Okay, so I want to build this here and then I can like raise it up a little bit. Oh my God, I could put some stairs leading up to my house. I could have a porch. I could have a porch. I'm not going to have a porch though because I need to build something relatively small. And uh, can I rotate this guy around? I totally can. I don't know if I have enough resources to uh, to build another one of these. It looked like I didn't. I don't have enough wood. Okay. Well, that's easy. There's a tree right here we can tear apart. But honestly, I kind of like that tree. So, so I'm going to keep it. I don't need it. But I do kind of like it. So we'll just keep it there. And uh, oh, this tree is going to fall over into, uh, into that person's house. Let's just knock it down this way. <laughs> just so I can get to it easier and I don't have to run back into town. There we go. So we're back up to 23 wood. Let's take down this tree as well, since we can hopefully do that nice and quickly with a couple of crit hits. There we go. A little bit of XP for doing that as well is not bad. We're to 37 logs. So hopefully now what I can do is get myself some more foundation. I want one there. I want one there. And then I need some foundation steps. Can I get another one? I could do a porch. I <laughs> I'm very tempted to do a porch. I don't need a porch, but I really want one. <laughs> it might be completely pointless and a total waste of resources. But you know what? Damn it, I'm having a porch. All right. What do I need? I need more wood. Oh, okay. It also seems like it's starting to get dark, which might be a problem. I've played enough survival games to know that that could be an issue. And uh, on top of that, I notice I think I'm, I'm like 50% hungry. So I'm going to have to do something about that as well. But the good news is I've got space for my porch. I've got some railings on my porch as well. And you know what else? I've got a door. So this, this is going to be my house. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I need a window as wait. How do I get glass? Oh man, I can do wooden archways as well. Oh, I can do bay windows. What? Oh, I can do roof dormers as well. Oh my God. Okay, this is, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot, man. How much wood have I got right now? We've got 29. Okay, 8 and 8, 16. And eight. So I can build three sections of wall right now. All right, well, we'll do one at the front. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. And I need to go and get a bunch more wood for four more wall sections and some wood for ceilings as well. I can do stairs. And I kind of want to do stairs. <laughs> I don't need them, but I do kind of want them. I also kind of like the idea of the half turn stairs. That seems like a, uh, a really nice use of space. Oh, I don't know. Wait, what is this? A balcony? I can have a balcony? Oh my god. <laughs> That's too, it's too much. It's too much. Oh my god, okay. Oh, this game is, this game is gonna give me too many creative options and I'm really, really excited about it. And there we go, we have a house. It doesn't look like much, but it's, it's a house. It's considered a house. I need a bed now. I have no idea how to make a bed. What do I need? I need wood and I need fibers. Okay, and for a workbench, I need wood and fibers as well. So let's go and get a bunch of those things. Luckily, I have my trusty sword, which I think... I think I can use it to chop down, like, bushes or something. Oh, what is that? Oh, it did. It did. Yeah. Okay, so I can get fibers this way. This doesn't seem like a very efficient way to get them, though. I think... I think these guys here are better for fibers? I'm not really too sure, to be honest. Let's find out. So if I chop you... Oh, that's so much better. Wait, what does this give me? Does this give me fibers? Oh, wait, no, that gave me... Did I just eat those? What, 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 what do I got there? I mean, it's it's clearly like a a plant of some sort. Yeah, it's it's a rose. Thorny red flowers found in grassy fields can be replanted in farms. Oh, I'm going to be a rose farmer. 
I am going to be a rose farmer. All right, so let's go ahead and place a bed, which I don't know if this is going to snap to anything. I'm not sure it does, although I'm pretty sure that right there is uh, is about as as parallel with the walls as I'm going to get it. So let's just rotate around so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, my bed, honestly, we'll put it like uh, we'll put it like there. That seems pretty good. It's a nice looking bed. Can I sleep? Oh, I can. I can also set it as my bed, which I assume means if I die horribly, then that's where I'll spawn. Now for a workbench, I need more fibers. I need more wood. I kind of really need some food as well, though. I've got to be honest, because we are at like 32 hunger right now. So we might need to go exploring. There are admittedly some crabs down here that I don't seem to be able to kill. So we're not going to be killing those for food which is fine. Oh, and I also just happened to find glass just on the on the coast. It was just glass washed up on the beach. So, I mean, we can make a window now. That's nice. There's also, what is this? Oh, more glass. What? That's really odd. That's, that's, that's kind of, that's, that's a bit weird. Just random glass on the, uh, on the beach. All right. Well, I mean, it works for me. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a few more fibers so that I can hopefully make myself that workbench. And I also need some more wood as well. And uh, everything should be good once we get that going. I also really desperately need to figure out where to get food. But at the very least, we can go ahead and build the workbench. So we'll rotate it around a little bit. We'll put it up against, I think, that wall right there. And that's fantastic. That gives us a stone pile, wood pile, utility box, refinery. Well, it gave us a lot of things. So we can get a refinery, we can get a wood pile, we can get a stone pile. That's great. Okay. And we've also got wood frame farms. Very excited about that one. We've also got the wooden well. Okay. So that's good. That's, that's very good. I would imagine. Oh God, my keyboard just, oh no, that's not my keyboard. I don't know if you can hear that, but the, um, so I have two keyboards. I have two PCs for recording and streaming and whatnot. And I have a keyboard tray, like table tray that sort of slides in and out under my desk. Um, it's slightly broken and almost fell off there. So that was great. Let's, I guess, go ahead and sleep until morning. I'm sleeping, standing up. That's fine. Uh, and, uh, let's go visit the mayor now that we have a house. Wait, no, actually, can I build a window? I need to know. I need, I need to know. Can I build, <gasps> I can build the bay window. Now, hold on a minute. Wait, I can build a circular window as well. I want the bay window. I want, I want the bay window. <laughs> really? Really want the bay window. Um, so hold on. You. Can I change you? No, I can upgrade you. All right. Recycle. And so that's what the wooden... Wait, that's not what the wooden window would look like at all. All right. Let's see here. So bay window there. What does it look like? Wait, does that give me space to like... Hold on. Hold on. Go up. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. That's so good. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. Can I put like a, can I put a roof on it? No. All right. Well, that's, that's fine. I can also do these. I can do like a, oh my God. I can do a roof with a dormer over my, uh, over my door. <laughs> Is that too much? I feel like it's too much, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? I kind of want it. We also get this like tower looking thing. Oh God. I could do another window. Hold on. I think actually doing another window would be a really good idea. So let's do a, let's do a window there so I can like look out over the sea from my workbench. And then for the roof pieces themselves, we need some clay. Honestly, let's, let's go visit the mayor. <laughs> I'm getting really carried away with customizing my house and it's, it's a box right now. This is like the first time I played Minecraft. It's the same feeling. That's my house. That's the first house that I've built. Good morning. Need a hand. What is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveler. My name is Gerald. I am the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers come to Bridgewater, but very few stay. Please, donate any spare building supplies at the town notice board. We desperately need resources to build up and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up again, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. Okay. So I've got started. I've talked to the mayor and I can donate my abandoned town to established town. Gives us more house plots. Shop buy and sell amount goes up. New shop is furniture builder. Ooh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. 
We need not that many resources to do that as well, which is pretty cool. We've also got this, so I can see like where these guys are, which is pretty cool. I can see what their resources are as well. That's really cool, actually. All right. Okay, okay. I'm I'm sort of I'm sort of okay with this. I really need to figure out this food thing though, because that's that's giving me some issues. I have no idea. Oh, I need to build a chair. I need a chair. <laughs> I've decided. I've made an executive decision. I need a chair. I, uh... <laughs> I've just, I've just realized I have the resources to build it. I know I'm starving to death, but you know what? A chair sounds great right now. Oh, it turns out I can actually eat those roses, and I got a little bit of health for that, or, well, hunger for that, so that's great. What is a, so a bookcase does nothing for me. A small book stack does nothing. I can just detail my house. That's all this stuff does. Oh my god. Yes, we're doing a chair next to the workbench. 100% we're doing that. So like there by the window. That's beautiful. That's, that's, yep. There we go. Sitting on the chair. That's, <laughs> that's so good. So can I use this? Oh. Oh, now hold on a second. So I, this is where I can make different tools. We can go up to like ancient. And then in here, we can do an iron axe. We can do an adventurer's torch. Watering can. How do I make a fishing pole? So a fishing pole is wood, fibers, and iron shards. Ooh. Okay. Well, I don't have any of those. That might be a bit of a problem. If I could find some iron shards, I can make a fishing pole. That sounds like something we need to do. It does. So I also kind of want these fibers. I'm going to be honest. Might as well get them while I'm here. I've just realized why glass is washing up on the beach. It's not. It's bottles. It's bottles are washing up on the beach. It's not just panes of glass. <laughs> Why? Why am I an idiot? I don't know what this is, but I can activate it, so I'm gonna. I don't... The map's been activated, updated. I don't know what any of this means. I don't... I, just, <laughs> I need to go exploring, apparently. So we'll head over to the one to the west, because it's close to my bed, and that seems like a good idea. There's also a thing here. Oh, what is this? I'm sure this will all make sense eventually, but it's it's kind of cool running around exploring and just trying to figure out what things are. Not that I'm ever going to, because I've got no idea and no context. So I can just look at it and be like, oh, pretty. That's that's basically what I can do right now. And that's OK. I'm fine with that. So let's see. We'll keep running up the beach. We need to get over to that side. I don't know if I can swim. I guess now is as good a time as any to find out. And uh, I can. That's nice. That's good. That's good. It's a good thing because I was going to drown if I couldn't. Is that a pumpkin? That looks like a pumpkin. That is, in fact, a pumpkin. And I think I just got pumpkin seeds as well. All right. So there's pumpkins here, which is good because I can eat that. But it's also getting kind of dark as I go in here. So I have a feeling. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> what am I going into? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like spiders. Oh god, I don't like spiders. They're not actually spiders, but they're pretty friggin' close. Oh man. Not a fan. Not a fan! No, 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 no. Can I eat? Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're good. Can I destroy the things that they're coming out of? Is that an option? I think it is. Wait, I think it actually is. Oh, it totally is. I don't know if I am doing enough damage or will ever... Oh, there we go. Did I get it? Oh, I totally did. Oh, look at me adventuring. All right. Suddenly, I'm not so scared of them. Come here, you. Oh, my God. There's like two of them. Never mind. There's three of them. Oh, okay. Suddenly, I'm a little bit more scared now. Please break this thing before another one comes out. Oh, God. There's another one. Oh. Oh, no. Another one. <laughs> no. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. Wait, what are, can I break? Can I break this grass? That gives me fiber. Neat. How much wood would I get from one of these trees? Can I chop this one down? I, no. Weapon tier too low. That's fine. This one? Weapon tier too low. This one? This one seems... This one's quite small. Nope. All right. Okay. So if my weapon tier is too low in this space to chop down a tree, I imagine it's a terrible idea to go into this cave. So we're going to. And we're probably going to regret it, is what we're going to do. Oh, God. It has a loading screen. 
It has a full arm. <laughs> oh no. We're in Keystone Cave. What is this? What is, what is, is that this? It's highlighted silvery kind of gray. So I have to imagine it's iron, which would be good actually, because we did need iron to build a fishing rod. So hopefully it's, uh, what is that? That looked like that is, is it iron? It's coal. Oh, all right. Well, that's not what I needed. I need iron shards. What is this? This is gold. So is it, is it? Okay, well, I can mine it, which is good. So that's a start. I can see those spiders just running around at the edges of the screen, which I don't love, but that's fine. Totally, totally okay with that. I think, what is this? Oh, that's iron, right? Yes, iron shards. Okay. So that's, so we could leave, basically, is uh, is what that means. We could, uh, we could, we could confidently leave here, but I think at this point, we've made it this far. I, I kind of, wait, what am I picking up? What is that? Dark essence. Oh God. Oh God. All right. Right. Spider's dead. Do I have to do something with this? Activate. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know what doing this does. It just lights up. Okay. That's fine. I got some mushrooms as well. I'm absolutely going to eat those against every piece of advice I was given as a child. I'm going to eat those mushrooms that I found on the ground in that mysterious cursed cave. I got weird. I got weird advice as a, as a kid. And you know, I guess while we're out and about, the best thing we could do is head over to this other island here and see what exactly lurks in what I assume is going to be another cave. I also want to know what's in this barrel because I'm nosy like that. We got some rocks. Okay, well, at this point, I'll take anything. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. That also looks like a bottle. Is it? It was. We've got 12 glass now, which is great. And uh, where are we looking? Okay. I think I need to climb this. Use air rolls to jump over long distances. You can jump further when air rolling instead of regular jumping. Run and jump forward. After you've left the ground, trigger a roll. This performs an air roll and propels you forward. Okay. So, hey. oh, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but it's pretty cool. All right. Up and hey. there we go. All right. What is this? Wait, I just, oh, oh, so the other one taught me combat and this one taught me, oh, would you look at that? Wait, what is this? Well, I just got pears. That was a pear tree. Oh, okay. So now I'm guessing I want to go back to the monument cave looking thing and see if it's open. Well, it doesn't look like it's open, but it is glowing, which is fine. So can I, can I do anything with that? It's, it's, it's highlighted which is cool. Is there something over here I can look at? Anything changed on this, this other thing right here? No. All right. I mean, I did the thing. I did what I had to do. I happened to level up a little bit. So we can do, we can do things. We can get more health. I can extend my hot bar, which actually seems like it'd be a really good idea. Do more damage. Hunger drain goes down. Shields. That's a thing. Okay. I mean, I don't think I need, I don't think I need more health. I think an extra hot bar slot sounds fantastic though. So I'll take that. That gives me up to five now, which is great. So I can, you know, quickly use up to five different things, which means I can put my fishing, I can put my fishing pole on there and then I can have some food down there. That's good. That's what we need. Oh, and here we are. Home sweet home. Now, very quickly, can I craft, I can craft a wooden light post. Beautiful. So I can actually see that's, that's, that's why I want this. So I can actually see, so I'll put it right there. It's not very bright to be, <laughs> to be honest. It's not, uh, it's, it's a bit dimmer than I thought it was going to be, but to be fair, I've been described that way. So it's all right. Uh, now an iron ax would be great. An iron pickaxe would be great, but I feel like the fishing pole is really needed. I've got to be honest. I feel like I just, I just feel like it's needed. So I'm going to craft that. And then the only, only other thing I could make is an adventurer's torch. I'm going to craft that. And then I need more iron for everything else. I probably should also have got a wooden watering can because I can then go and start farming, which is kind of a big deal in this game. So I might have, um, this might not have been my brightest, uh, decision to be, uh, to be completely honest, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's perfectly, perfectly fine. So give me this on my hot bar 
And I mean, how does so what does this do? So if I press five, can I hold both? Oh, I totally can. Oh, that's neat. All right. And can I and oh, there's my fishing pole. OK. All right, let's let's go to sleep. Oh, I love the light coming out of my window. Look at my little house. It's amazing. It's such a good little place. I love it. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go to sleep and let's go fishing. We got the sun rising. We got the uh, we got the ocean waiting. And I'm pretty sure I noticed a couple of little swirling spots in the water. So I'm assuming you have to go to one of those. And that's where you can go fishing. Although in saying that, I don't see any weird circle things by the fishing spot. So let's just see what happens if I cast a line. I mean, it's it's out there, which is great. Oh, I caught something. Oh, do I have to click? Every oh, OK. I don't think I want to click when it goes red, though, right? I just want to click when it's wait. What did I just what did I just catch? <laughs> that wasn't a fish. That was salvaged metal. All right, well. It's better than nothing, right? So if I wait, why was it fighting then? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's see what we got on this side. Maybe something, maybe nothing. It's kind of seeming like it's going to be. Oh, no, it is something. All right. Come on. We we got this. It's fighting is what it's doing. Oh, I didn't want to do that, though. Oh, I lost it. I lo OK, I'm going to do that again. I'm doing it again. I'm going to catch whatever that was. If it was salvaged metal and it got away, I'm going to be really surprised. But surely there's there's got to be a fish out there. I just want one. That's all I want is a single a single fish. So I just need to click when that's white. Don't click when it's red like that. That's white again. There we go. <gasps> I got a fish. I got a fish. What is it? Where is it? What is it? It's a raw sardine. Oh. <laughs> So I got the small, the smallest fish I could have possibly caught. All right. Well, <laughs> it's better than nothing. And I guess. So hold on. Can I write a small fire pit for cooking fish and healing after a long day of exploring? So if I can find some coal, I can make a fire pit and I can cook my fish. That sounds cool. So I guess. Do I need to. I guess I probably need to explore some more, right? That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we get this island over here. We get this island over here. Eventually, I can get a boat. That's that's a thing you can do. You can get a boat and you can go and set sail for other islands. And that's cool. But right now I need some coal. Oh, I'm an idiot. So there's another thing I have to go to up there. That's why this door doesn't open. Oh, my God. I'm actually an idiot. So straight up this way, we have a bridge that's destroyed. So I'm going to I'm going to jump in the water is what I'm going to do. That injured me because I it was very, very shallow. That's fine. And I guess we're just going to sort of swim around and see if there's a way onto this island. Now, look, wait, wait, can I can I do that jump roll thing to get across there? No, that seems that seems like way too much of a distance. Can I climb this, though? Also fish right there. That seems kind of cool. Can I? Hmm. I don't know, unless there's maybe just something at the back here. I mean, there's a cool looking tower thing. That's neat. But yeah, looking at this island, the entire thing kind of seems like it's uh, kind of seems like it might be inaccessible. And just to be sure, we're going to try this, which, uh, yeah, didn't wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, I can just, just jump up. <laughs> Uh, that's embarrassing. All right. Can I just cast like a little line here? There we go. Is this going to give me like a decent fish? There's a bunch of fish down there. I know there's that thing I need to go to, but I kind of want the fish first. I'm going to be honest. You know, the, that thing's going to be there forever. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, All right, I'm doing it again. That thing's going to be there forever. The fish might go away. So this is important. This is actually, actually important. So we get our little blip there we go and i just need to click when it's white not click when it's red it's white it's red it's white i caught some scrap metal all right you know what you know what we're just gonna do this and i've unlocked a dungeon so <laughs> wait a minute i've unlocked a dungeon i don't know how to feel about that <laughs> 
So now all three things at the top are highlighted. I can unlock the door. And the fire. Yeah, that's ominous. That this seems perfectly safe. I'm really glad for the auto save right there as well. That makes me feel super confident in what I'm about to do. I uh, <laughs> don't. I don't know about this. I don't know that this is a good idea. I just don't. Ancient caves. There's a box here that has my equipment in it. Okay. So, oh, there's a couple of ways I can go and I don't like it. Wait, I can repair this? Oh, that's cool. All right, that's neat. Or I can go this way. I don't like having multiple choices. I know that sounds silly, but... Oh, I got money. Wait. Wait, this dungeon has money in it? I'm suddenly... I'm suddenly interested. Also, do I have... Wait, I need to go back to that chest, I think. Because I can get my... I can get my torch and then I can actually see what's going on in some of those darker parts. So let's go to you. Let me grab this and put it on my hot bar. And now I can see, which is good. That's what we're looking for. Can I break these? Oh, I totally can. There's nothing in them, but I can break them. So that's always nice. And then this, I don't really know what this is going to be. I think it's going to be coal, hopefully. It's sort of silvery though. Almost more silvery than the last ones that I've broke that were sort of silvery so i guess we'll find out we we'll leveled up as well oh it was iron okay i mean that works for me that means i can make the iron tools potentially so that's good and then down here we just have a few mushrooms i don't do i need to repair that i really i i kind of want to see if i can jump over it it doesn't look like that much of a distance and it isn't so that's good i don't need to repair it Makes my life a little bit easier. We have this, which I could light with some coal, which I think is a good idea so I can see. There's a waterfall. That's ominous. There's a bridge across it, which I don't know if I want to go over that. I'm going to be honest. Don't know how I feel about it. We got some scrap metal. I'm not going to light you. Oh, man. A lot of stuff down here I can mine as well. No enemies so far. That has me concerned. There's a, there's a lot of things I can mine. Good lord. A lot of lights, too. Oh, I spoke too soon! I hate these things! No, 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 no! Get away from me! Oh, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. Awful. Awful little creatures. Uh, is there... There's no map of this. Oh, man. Oh, there's another one over there. So there's no map of this, so I just need to kind of remember where I've been and where I'm going. This is a dead end, which is fine. Although there is something mineable. I think, honestly, I'm probably just going to try and mine as much in here as I possibly can because it seems like a really good place for resources. Oh, what the hell are you? What is that? Oh, my God. Oh, I don't like it. And it hits pretty hard as well. Oh, oh, I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. Oh, God. Oh, OK, I feel like I'm really badly equipped for this. But the good news is, if I can get some iron, if I can get some coal, I can make myself better tools, and then I would assume there's more dungeons. I can come back and I can do better in future dungeons. There's more coal. I've got 16 coal now. Oh, now, wait a minute. There's stairs going down somewhere here and another one of those things off in the distance. But since there's stairs, things are getting a little bit more established around here. I have to imagine it's potentially a good thing. And there's, there's, oh my god, there's so much mineable stuff down here. Another spider thing too, which I don't appreciate, but we can kill those. I don't, I don't know what any of this is. I think that's just rock, which is fine. Uh, you, 100%, need to die. So there we go. I'm doing okay in terms of health. There's actually a lot of stuff down here. What is this? Oh, it's just like a table and chairs. Okay. There's more stairs right there as well. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel really squishy. I feel really squishy. I don't feel like I'm, I'm geared enough for this. What is that? Oh, it's a spawn point for those things. I don't like it. No, 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 no. I'm going up here. I don't know what's up. There's more of them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? So, um. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. That's going over here. I actually, I, you know what? I can't believe I just did that first try. <laughs> I actually managed to get up here first try. That was kind of impressive, actually. All right, well, I'm going to mine this. Now, remember earlier when I said that plus 25 health didn't seem like it was such a good idea? I think now 
it seems like a really good idea, but I need two points for that. So uh, I'm going to save up. I'm going to save up because I'm going to need it. Although more base. Uh, you know what? Base damage. Give me that. I want to do more damage to these things because then I can. Oh, wait, I can just jump on their heads and that kills them. Wait. Oh, my God. There's so many of those things down there. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm really I'm really going to have to make a run for it. Uh, let's eat some pears just to uh, try and bring my health back up a little bit there. Oh, my God. Can I? Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, we're jumping. We're jumping. We're jumping. How much damage can I do to that? Not enough. There are so many of them. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You go away. Oh, my God. Let's just run. Run, run, run. I'm not. I, I, I don't have the gear. I don't. I also don't know if this is the way out. I don't think this is the way. Nope. No, it isn't. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I can go under the waterfall. That's fine. I don't know if that's the waterfall that I saw earlier. We got another spider spawner as well. I actually don't know where I am now, which is kind of a problem. Wait, no, I do know where I am. This is the entrance. I've been here because I lit this up. Oh, wait, hold on. I can go up here. There's more, there's more beasties, but there is stuff to loot. Wait, was that like a bigger spider? No. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. Let's go back home and let's... Let's count what we got from this and let's we will come back another time. I want better gear. So let's take a look here and see what we can do. If we go to this thing, I can make myself an iron sword, which would be better than the one I have right now. So the one I have right now is uh, a makeshift Bowie knife with the description. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> I was awful. Uh, it does four to five damage. Crit hit is five to six. It is high speed. An iron sword is 7 to 10 damage. Grits are 8 to 12. Speed is fast. Now, that would be good, but I feel like my... I feel like an iron pickaxe would be a great idea. So, I'm going to craft that. I'm going to craft the sword. And then I can't craft this because I don't have fibers. Oh! Oh, well, that makes life easy. So, all I need is fiber. Right. So, give me give me this. And give me... Give me you. And then if I go and hit this with my new sword, I've got some fibers. If I go and hit this with my new sword, I've got some fibers. And then I think I can go in here and can I make this? I totally can. So there we go. And then for this, I just need more fibers, which is great. I've got that. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Okay. I can also, if I get some materials, I can upgrade the bench. Not bad. Right. Well, I need more fibers. So give me, give me this. Because I do want to make that uh, that watering can. I can break. Oh, I can break all this grass as well. That's giving me two fiber. Is it giving me two fiber? Because I have the. Oh, it gave me one that time. Okay. Well, I'll break this. I think I needed like 11. And I've got 13 now. So if we pop inside, we go to here. I can make you. And that means. So I've unlocked the basic watering can. If I go to here, we've now got it in there, which is pretty great. I don't need this. So that can go out of there. I want the better axe. I've got the watering can, which is a standard watering can for your crops. Holds two uses. Use your first ability key for water. All right. Well, that's good. And I've also got a Q now. Oh, I've got like a heavy attack. Ooh, I feel fancy. Oh, wait. No, that reminds me. I also needed to make uh, this. I need wood, though. All right. I need wood and fiber to make a farm frame thing as well. All right. I need to chop down a tree. Let's see how good this new axe is. So eight damage, 10 damage. Not bad. Honestly, I'm pretty bad with it, but it's uh, it's definitely quicker, which is great. Yeah, three hits. Oh, man. And I just you know, killed myself by having a tree drop on me. <laughs> what? How do I do these things? How do I? How do I? <laughs> How am I so bad at games? Uh, give me that campfire. And uh, I don't know where to put it, honestly. I think right there seems like a beautiful spot for a campfire. We'll put it like by the water. And then if I go and light this. So I'm assuming oh, I can use wood for it. Neat. And then I can put fish in there. Oh, look at that. And it's it's cooking pretty quick. It goes through wood pretty quick, though. It's also extremely bright. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. All right, there we go. 
Extinguish that. Give me the fish. So now I've got some cooked fish. I've still got a, I've got a skill point as well. I need two for the, the, the heavy strike. Resource gathering damage. Actually, yeah, give me that. And then if I look in here or in here. Yeah, I've got a I've got a grilled sardine. Oh, look at me making food. Look at me learning how to survive. <laughs> and just like that, I've got a farm plot as well. Now, I've got no idea how this works, although apparently I can plant uh, pumpkin seeds. I can plant blueberries and I can plant pears, which I'm going to do. So now that I've done that, can I go and grab my watering can? And so watering your crops, use your watering cans ability key to water crops. Farmers or farms need to stay watered in order to grow. Refill it at a well or natural water source. Grow your farm with automated watering systems. Okay. So. I want to say, I, I don't know if this is actually full. It's, uh. Yeah, I've actually got no, I've got no, I'm going to say it's not. Because it's, uh, yeah. Wait, am I stuck? No, I'm good. Wait, no, I might be. No, I'm, I'm a little bit. I was a little bit stuck. I'm good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Right. I need a well is what I need. How do I build a well? I need fiber and I need a lot of wood. All right. And then this thing can just go anywhere, I suppose. Doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm kind of thinking I want to put it somewhere like here. So it's easy to, uh, it's nice and easy to see. You know, it's not in the way of anything. So uh, we'll go for right about there for the well. And if I go and grab my watering can, I can fill it, which I've done. And then if I pop over here, can I water my... I don't know if I need to water... Wait, no, I need to use my ability. Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm an actual... I'm a farmer now. I mean, I'm a farmer now. Neat. All right, let's go to sleep. All right, you know what? I think that's going to do us for Lens Island for today. Thank you so much for watching everybody this has been so much fun i know it's a bit different to what we do in the channel but i do love these kinds of games so if you want to see more of this be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to like the video while you're down there and also you can check out lens island on steam right now this is of course a sponsored video a huge thank you to the folks at lens island for the uh, the opportunity for letting me check this out and for the sponsorship i do appreciate it there will be a link in the description to uh Check out the game for yourselves if you're interested. And uh, I uh, I do think it'd be good. I think you might enjoy it. So feel free to check it out if that's the kind of thing you would uh, think that you would like as well. It's also, I believe, 40% off at the moment as this video goes out anyway. And it's also going to be in the Steam Winter Sale, which runs for like a week over Christmas 2022 up until New Year's. I think into early January, something like that. So there's a few opportunities to get it for 40% off. There was an update came out recently as well. So, you know, if we do play more of this, we'll probably get into a lot of the stuff that came out in the update because if we look at this map, there's a whole lot of map that we don't see right now. So, uh, you know, there is there is work to be done. That's all I'm saying. There is work to be done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye